My name is Leon Aventus, and I am a cursed man. The curse began to run my life, but I was determined to beat it. And so I set sail, leaving behind the world that I knew, my home, in search of a cure, in search of freedom. For I know one thing for sure, this is not the end, but the beginning. Again. Oh, knew it. God. Yeah. Wear them out. A fight. Hey, watch it. Huh. Ah. Oh, good hit. Job, job. Ha, pull them back. <laughs> I think I like these people already. You Not pulling punches. Hard to tell who would win this so far. <laughs> Surely I'd count that as cheating. Oh. Yet she still wins. Please, <laughs> got a bad grip on my shield. Would you take a look at it? I'm a warrior, not a blacksmith. Can't you just tell me if the grip is bad? She's tough. If Aorland made it, it's more likely you're gripping it wrong. Find me tomorrow and we can go over it. <laughs> Excuse me, a moment to your time. Oh, it's you. Me? I like the smaller, quicker blades. Hmm. I guess she saw me outside. Yes, you're very fond of saying that. You know I like hammers and axes. Uh, Aren't they slow? Excuse me. I can get in and Hello. When the um, we gray mains have been feuding with out. the battle boards for years. Uh, There's no more bitter enemy than an old friend. I've been told of these gray mains. I see. Your clans, they used to be friends. I, we used to be fast friends, though it was long ago. We were two of the city's oldest and most respected clans, mm. and we could trace our histories all the way back to East Grimoire's companions. But then Olford got rich and decided he and his kin were too good for us simple, backwards Nord folk. When the troubles began, he took the Empire side. We haven't spoken much since then. I see. It is a difficult position to be put in. So, what can you tell me of the companions? You are a member, I assume. No, they used to be something. Nowadays, they just squabble amongst themselves. Squabble? Take my advice and keep away. You look too smart to get caught up with this bunch. Hmm. Smart? I don't know how smart I am. Why did you join the Companions, then? Well, when you get to be my age, you don't remember why you did much of anything. Hmm. Only that it happened. All right. I see. What about your rivals, the Battleborn? Aye. They're an old clan like ours. But they cast their lot with the Empire when the uprising began. Hmm. Olfred Battleborn made his money from farming. And got himself some new friends among the Empire's nobles. Now he's in the Emperor's pocket like the rest of them. Hmm. With no regard for honor <clears throat> and tradition. I see. I was done talking anyway. Yes. Thank you. I haven't seen you before, have I? Uh, we met? No. I'm sorry if I forgot. You have not, friend. You have not met me. I saw a few heading outside. He doesn't look too bad after his beating. Good day. Ah, fresh blood. Hope you know how to handle yourself. I know how to handle myself. Make it quick. <laughs> She's fierce indeed. Ah, the one with the cloaks. Ah, <clears throat> uh, hello there. 
My name is... My name is Leonidas Aventus. Haven't seen your face before. No. I'm watching you. I see. Look. Are you recruiting by chance? I have a strong blade, a strong shield, and even a stronger heart. Any chance I can join you and your folk? So you think you have what it takes? I do. Lucky for you, I'm not the one who makes that decision. I see. Talk to Codlac. Codlac. Who knows? Maybe he's in a generous mood. I see. Well, where can I find this Codlac? Right, I see. Well, thank you. I'll be on my way. All right, then. I'll leave them to it. Codlac, he said. Hmm. I'll see if I can find him. All right. Downstairs. Hmm. Need something? Uh, just looking for Codlac. What now? Uh, nothing. <laughs> wow. Right, the shrine. Beautiful. Quite the weapon as well. There's pieces of something there. Shattered. Let's see if we can find this codlac. Hmm. It is much quieter down here. Where would this cot like be? Perhaps down the end. Oh, there is someone there. Ready yourself, Leon. I do not know what to expect. Two of them. Uh, excuse me. But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. Blood. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. You have my brother and I, obviously. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. What? Leave that to me. Ah, uh, excuse me. Sorry to trouble you. Might I have a moment of your time? I am... Looking for Codlac. I assume you are Codlac. Yes. A stranger comes to our hall. Yes. I have heard many tales of you and your shield brothers, the companions. I have searched far and wide for your kind. Who are the companions exactly? Your question carries more weight than you may know, newcomer. The sort of thing some of us spend our lives pondering. The difference between a noble band of warriors and a ragged bunch of assassins is as thin as a blade's edge. <clears throat> I try to hold us to the right path. The right path, I see. Why... Why did you join the Companions, then? Like most of our band, I found this family after losing my own. I traveled the length and breadth of this land, learning all I could of the sword and the axe. I was just a boy, but I had the fire of a man in my heart. Eventually, my body caught up to my spirit. My predecessor, Askar, found me in Hammerfell. I was serving as a bodyguard for some weak-necked lord out there. He brought me back here, and I realized that I was actually coming home. I worked to bring honor to this family, and to the family that I lost. For my mother, my father, and my grandfather. For all my S.H.I.E.L.D. siblings. Family and honor. That's what it means to be one of us, boy. I see. These are... qualities indeed. There is one other thing I would like to know. The companions. Where did they stand on this war? 
the civil war that seems to be tearing this this land apart. Politics are something best avoided. Mm. I prefer more personal confrontations myself. Of course, of course. Foolish of me to ask. Godlike. My name is Leonidas Aventus. I served with the Imperial Legion for years, as a captain, a leader, and as a soldier. I would be honored to join you among your ranks of shield brothers. Would you have me? Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Mm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. The Companions are a legendary band of warriors. I seek glory, but I also seek redemption. Would you have me? That sounds acceptable to me. I would be honored. Good. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in your Vasker for those with a fire burning in their hearts. My thanks. Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, boy? I can handle myself. As I said, I've served in the Legion for many years. I'm good with a sword and many other weapons. I can handle myself. That may be so. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Good. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. Aye. All right. Thank you again for offering me the chance. Vilkas, eh? They talked about the burden of blood. It could be true. Maybe. Good day. Oh, I'm just a servant, dear. You want to talk to one of the companions, I'm sure. All right. To the trial, then. I can't hold back. To show them what I can do. Which way? Battling on an empty stomach isn't wise. I don't know how much of a choice I have. Nothing. Nothing at all. When the Empire surrendered she to the old does have a temper. Dominion, they shamed us all. Shamed? Perhaps they did not have much of a choice in the matter. Perhaps they did such a thing to save thousands of lives. Ah. Oh, there they are. That woman from before as well. They do fight fiercely indeed. I'm sure they'll be quite the match. Even more so. I will need to give them my best. All right.
right. Good. <clears throat> uh, hello. Lucas. The old man said to have a look at you. Yes. So, let's do this. Just right. have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry. I can take it. You're sure? All right, then. Come on. How's that for you? Good enough? Hmm? <laughs> Waiting for you to show yourself. Come on, then. This isn't all you got. Never should have come. Now that's impressive. You're mightier than you look. You <laughs> might just make it. But really? For now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Right. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorlin to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. Huh. I understand to it. Oh. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Uh, of course. Mine? Very well. Give it to me then. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. All these younglings scan. Alright, let's see it then. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? The Jarl. Looks like that's it. Got to go. What then? Uh, thank you. Themselves killed. By you? The Yarl. They should be so lucky. Hmm. All right, your sword will be sharpened. Don't worry, Lucas. <laughs> I understand how it is. I've been the rookie more than once. <laughs> Not for a long time, though. I can take some humility, however. What would a Jarl want with me, though? I couldn't have caused too much attention, surely. One traveler? Well, I do not look quite as inconspicuous as I originally wanted. Gods, a fine forge indeed. To carve that would have taken an age. Ah, hello there. What brings you here? Uh, sharpening swords, it would seem. Uh, Vulcus, he sent me here with his sword. An errand, of course, for one new such as me. I'm guessing you're the newcomer, then. Yes. Does Vulcus always send newcomers on these errands? Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. Yes. They just might not like to talk about it. Hmm. And don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the Companions. Right, I see. But someone has to be in charge, though, surely? Kodlak? Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Yzgrimor. Really? Kodlak is the Harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own, and right. the woman her own. I see, I see. So you yourself? You're a companion? Not actually a companion myself, but none of them know how to work a forge properly, huh. and I'm honored to serve them. My name is Eorlin Greymane. Grey I work Mane. the Skyforge. Best steel in all of Skyrim. All of Tamriel. I see. Well, I should be going. I have a sword to sharpen. I have a favor to ask. Of course. What is it? I've been working on a shield for Aella. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aella for me. Of course. Aella, she is the... The woman, yes. Fierce, she seems. I'm happy to lend a hand. That's a good man. All right. Okay. One errand for another. Whether well, surely it will earn me some favor here. 
I need to earn their trust. Hmm. Maybe I can earn some food. <clears throat> Ayla. She was here somewhere. Perhaps they've returned inside. Yes. Hmm. That note. Well, perhaps I have a chance to read it now. In private. It might be best. Hmm. Helgen does not seem to be too far from here. Surely the companions will not complain. As they said, each man is their own. I need to earn their trust some more. Before I could run off on my own errands, it would seem. Mm. Right. Ayla. Must be nearby somewhere, surely. Ah. Vilkus. I suppose you have another question? No. Not so much. What, your sword? It's been turned in. What is it now? I'd like to know one thing. Why did you join the Companions? To hear Farkas tell it. Our father raised us here as happy pups. Running around, biting knees. Hmm. I love my brother. But his brains are not his strong suit. We were brought here by Jürgen. Whether he was our father or not, I don't care. He left to fight in the Great War and never came back. I see. So he's not my problem anymore. We've been here as long as either of us can remember, though. So try to show some respect. I will, of course. Good day. Mm -hmm. She does not appear to be up here. Perhaps downstairs. A rambling old man from before. This must be Farkas, then. The other brother. My brother Vilkas is a better talker than me. He should be around someplace. Maybe so. Do you mind if I asked a question or two? Getting tired of hanging around talking all day. I'm sure. I'm sure. I've talked to you, brother. But I'd like to know why you joined. Vilkas and I have been here since we were little whelps. Our father, Jürgen, raised us here. Yes. Even Vigner couldn't remember companions younger than us. I see. Until next time. Indeed. down here. Oh, I'm uh, just a uh. servant, dear. You want to talk to one of the companions, I'm sure. Yes, I'm searching for Ayla, in fact. Surely she must be down here somewhere. Hmm. Hello. Are you prepared for tonight's hunt? I've been thinking. We need to be more discreet. There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. You know the old man doesn't like it. Let's just not be too obvious. Poaching, perhaps. Illegally. The Jarl. <laughs> the Jarl would not be happy to hear that, I'm sure. Hmm. The rooms seem closed off. Bar. Hmm. Wonder how often it is used. Uh, 
Surely she must be down here somewhere. Cord lack. in here. Ah, uh, hello. Uh, sorry to intrude. A moment of your time. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Of course. Isgrimor himself wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around here. I'm sure, I'm sure. I have your shield. Ah, good, I've been waiting for this. Wait, I remember you. So the old man thinks you've got some heart, I guess. You know this one? I saw him training in the yard with Vilkis. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite a thrashing. Don't let Vilkis catch you saying that. Do you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? Mm. I'm not one for boasting. But... I am well trained. The Legion don't let, uh, whelps lead their legions. Ah, a man of action. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. I'm waiting. All Farkas. right, then. Ah. You call me. Of course we did, Ice Brain. Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. <laughs> new blood? Oh, I remember you. Come on, follow me. Of course. What now? Thank you. Or and Ayala like to tease me, but they're good people. They challenge us to be our Out best. Out with it. Nice to have a new face around. It gets boring here sometimes. <laughs> I hope we keep you. This can be a rough life. The quarters I'm sure. are up here. Just pick a bed and fall in it when you're tired. Thank Come you, Falcus. Keep the place clean. She always has. All right, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Right. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Of course, Good of luck. course. Welcome to the Companions. Thank you. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, we've got trouble right here in Whiterun Hold. Nothing really? we can't handle. I see. Well, what kind of trouble should I expect then? Nothing but a bunch of lonely bandits. Cowards who will take little effort. I see. I can take care of it then. I knew you could be counted on. Do what must be done. Skior says that I have the strength of Isgrimor, and my brother has his smarts. Hmm. All right then. Thanks again, Farkas. I appreciate your hospitality. Greetings. Seems I am to be staying here with you. I'll try and keep things as cordial as possible. But I'm sure you have your own ways here. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Group, right? Wait, is that right? Yes, it is right. I'm sure I'll be seeing more of you as time goes on. Might head down to the meadery later, see what they're brewing up. You can smell the honey on the wind. <laughs> Perhaps I will see you then. Good day. Let's see if I can take care of this trouble. <laughs> Showing Vilkus my strength in battle. That'll earn me some kudos. Not until I actually start doing work, however. I think I'll be able to earn their trust. Ah, oh, there. I've been tending four years of your Vasker for as long as I can remember. Really? Well, I'm sure it's much appreciated. Ah. Oh. If I am to head out, I should do it with some food in my belly. I've heard you may actually be stronger than you look. Perhaps we can hunt together someday. Perhaps. I'd be honored, Ayala. Hmm. 
Some people don't think I'm smart. Those people get my fist. But you, I like. Ah, it's good to have someone on my side. <laughs> I'll be sure to see you again soon. Uh, perhaps I can purchase some goods in the market before I move on. Would be wise. He's still going. Hello. Are you married? You look the type. Make sure you treat your wife with the respect she deserves. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Peculiar. Tired of bread and stew? Had enough of fish and fowl? Treat uh -huh. yourself and your kin to a choice cut of steak or a tender rack of ribs. Fresh baked loaves. Ah. Wasma. Hello. I'm hoping to purchase some of this meat of yours. The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. Let's see what you have for sale then. Take a look. I've got a recipe for venison stew that I want to try out. Hmm. Will you have venison anytime soon? Let's see. Venison could be good. Could cook it back at the halls. Perhaps I would rather find a cooked meal. I might return. Thank you. Good hunting. Yes. I'll be sure to bring some back for you the next time I go hunting. Make it quick, and there might be a bowl of hot stew in it for you. Stew? Hmm. Stew does sound good. Excuse me. A moment of your time. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Hulda. Ah, I see. You're looking to become a merchant then. Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. Mm. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. I see. I've seen a mammoth or two. A few skeletons. Perhaps there would be some still attached. I might be able to help you. You'd do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? That'd be good to know. Sounds good. Thank you. Farewell. Farewell to you, too. No soup, though. Uh, excuse me. Right through Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. But Prop that bard is the worst. Bard? You get a lot of attention from the men here. You've got no idea. Half the men in White Run have proposed to me. I Some see. Even single. <laughs> They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. Fair enough. This bard. Is he giving you trouble? That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat the way he comes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. I see. This Mikhail. What if I had a word or two? If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. Really? Hmm. You never know. Might I have a look at what you have for sale? Take a look. Hmm. We could do some bread. I'll take a few off your hands. Thank you. I'll be sure to let you know if this Mikhail responds. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. Of course. I work ah. with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. Ah, you my must be Mila. The hard work. Do you have any I'm sure. I spend a lot of time at the market. So I can I learn the merchant's myself. trade. Every day. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. What is that? You don't the meat with any of those 
Hmm. Quite the rune. Quite the rune indeed. I best get a move on. Still have a lot of the day left, however, which is good. I can work with that. <laughs> 